thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be tying a black and silver buzzer. So the hook I have in the vise is a full and mill super grub, size 12. And the thread I'm going to be using, black uni thread, 8-0. And just catch on in behind the eye and lay a nice base of thread quite deep round the bend. So there's a very simple buzzer pattern can be easily changed into a couple of different variations just just a matter of changing different ribs so there we go quite quite deep into the bend there and we're going to trim off and for the rib I'm going to be using some silver crystal flash so you just take a strand catch it in just at the tip and then bring your thread and again touch and turns back up towards your eye nice tight touch and turns take your time with this you don't really want any of the hook showing through and then once you're up, pretty much to where you've started again. Depending on how thick you want your body, whether you want a really, really skinny buzzer or something a little thicker, you can just work back down again to create a bit of a taper in the body. So this time I'm going to sort of go two thirds of the way, between two thirds and three quarters anyway. And then back up. And then the next time aim for sort of a third of the way back down. This will just make a bit of a taper in the body. So just do it there and back up again. Now, we catch in our, or take hold of our rib, nice and gently, start off with reasonably tight turns quite close together, you want very little of the, the black body showing through, and then just as you move up your body, just open it up a bit, so you see larger and larger portions of the black underbody showing through until you get up to pretty much your eye so at this point catch on catch in your tinsel three turns just to hold it in place trim off your excess so for the wing buds I'm going to be using some Uni Mylar, Peacock and Orange. It's like a peacock colour on one side, orange on the other. So we just trim off a few inches of that. And then we're going to tie it just in with each side, with the peacock side showing out. So I've just caught a loop of it in, the bit that I've cut off, I've tied one side in on my side and the other end of it on the other side. So you catch your two strands and pull them down slightly and just wind your thread back and forth creating the head. Just up and down a couple of times just till you're happy with the head slightly bigger than the body. There we go, and up to your eye. So with our two strands, we're just going to pull them both forward. It should expose the orange. Just 
while you're pulling them both catch over to four turns of thread again just checking that you're happy with the shape of the wing bud yeah that's pretty good and then we take our scissors and just try and neck off our tinsel as close as we can obviously the closer you can get or the less waste you have sticking forward the neater your head can be so just then tidy up all your waste it's a very simple buzzer pattern doesn't take very long to tie so once you've got your excess wing buds all covered over we're ready for the whip finish you don't need too many turns we're going to cover this in a resin so that should hold everything nice and tight and trim off so you can either use varnish or resin or some people like the Sally Hansen hard as nails but today I'm going to be using Gulf Thin Man I've been using it recently I find it quite good so just take nozzle just add a couple of drops onto it this is where a rotary vise can come in quite handy best to take your time with this bit and add, add it sparingly and then just for your dubbing needle you can pull it about a bit to where you want it. Good thing with this stuff is it doesn't really harden until you hit it with a light so if you see it starting to sag a bit one way you can pull it, turn your vice the other way around just wait till it starts to straighten itself out a bit or where it's uh, you just push it and pull it to where you want it. If you've got too much on use your dub needle just to take a little bit off that's quite good there now we'll take our light to set a resin and just give it five or six seconds on the bottom same again on the top and there we have a very simple black and silver buzzer. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video.